Good morning, YouTube. Today we have a different deck. What is this one? This is Salamang Great. I've played Salamang Great since about 2019. This is the deck that's given me like the most success in tournaments. So I still haven't been able to put the deck down, and I still really like the deck. And it's still pretty decent as a, like a tier two option. So let's just get into it. Right. Let's jump into it. Jump. So we are playing three Flame Buffalo over the Lady Debug because Lady Debug just kind of gets hit by every hand trap right now. But this dodges a lot of hand traps and chain blocks as well. So that's why I prefer to play this over Debug is like the main like kind of starter card. Uh, the one Gazelle, uh, this is like the best card in the deck. I mean, rip, rip Gazelle. I mean, there's a reason it's at one. Yeah. Um, we are we are only playing two Spinny because level oh. threes aren't super necessary right now. Um, but it's just a really good extender. And we do play the two Foxy, also just like a really good extender. Uh, this does not require necessarily a salad on the field to activate, so it's a really good option for getting out of Nibiru situations. And we do play the two Jaguar. Uh, we still want to play two for Ice Dragon's Prison, so that if one gets banished, we still have like another one later, and it's just a really good extender as well. And uh, one Falco. Uh, Falco is actually really good. Falco is pretty decent because it bounces back uh, Gazelle so that you have it for later. It also recycles your spells. It's decent. Um, you realistically want to play a small salad engine because you don't necessarily want to see too many of these in your hand at once because you want to see things like hand traps or regular traps or spells because these are all searchable. Like So your engine is like very small. Um, that's it for the main actual Salad and Cypher sponsors. We actually are not playing the Parallel Exceed because that card just kind of plays way too much into Nibiru. It's a really good card, but even if Nibiru isn't like super prevalent in a format, it still just runs into it, and this deck is very fragile to Nibiru. So for Hand Traps, we are playing 3 Ash. It's just really good generic Hand Trap. Uh, 3 Droll. Uh, Droll is also like a really good like Hand Trap right now. It's pretty cracked. Um, so for the most part, I think we want you want to like play this neither your main or your side uh we do main deck nibiru in here over something like gamma nibiru is pretty strong even though it's not like super amazing right now paired with other hand traps this card is really good it's also just like really good going second i prefer this over gamma in this specific deck that's all the monsters for spells we do play three cyanide mining cyanide mining is like probably one of the best cards in the deck i mean it searches for your gazelle, it searches for flame buffalo, it searches for anything you want. That's so wrote it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we do play uh, three desires. Um, the reason why we play three in this deck is because you don't really care if anything gets banished. You kind of just want to see the uh, the plus one as fast as possible and as many as you can. We do play two will. Uh, will of Solomon Greats is just an amazing extender if you get Nibiru. Because typically they'll want to Nibiru you after you already have summoned out your... Uh, Sunlight Wolf, so you can use this to bring back the Sunlight Wolf and reincarnate or Link Summon it so that you can go into another one. Uh, we do play the one uh, Sanctuary, it's the engine requirement, so we just play the one. Um, and we do play the one Circle. This card is busted. Um, there's a reason it is at one. It's probably like the best searcher in the deck. Uh, that's it for the spells. Uh, for the traps, we actually play a good amount of traps. We do play two Roar and two Rage. Um, this is basically so that if you, like, desires one of them, like, you get one of them banished, you can still, like, have another one. These are kind of good to search if you have all of your monsters that you want kind of early. And they're all just, like, really good. That's why we play at least two. Now, for extra traps, we are playing three Torrential. Torrential is really good this format. And this deck does not care, thanks to Banelinks in the graveyard. So I really like Torrential at three in this deck. And we are playing three Strike. Strike is... Kind of just like maybe the best counter trap right now going into the format. It kind of just hits whatever you need. Like any of the summons going on right now are inherent summons. So this just hits that. Hits monster effects. It's just really good. That's why I like Solemn Strike in this deck. Uh, and that's the main deck. It's 40 cards. Pretty standard. <laughs> it's 40 cards. That's good. I like it. For the extra deck. We... So these first eight cards are very standard. The three Bay Links, the three Helio... Or uh, three Sunlight Wolf and two Helio... This is all very standard stuff. Pretty much any salad deck is going to have pretty much these combinations of cards. Uh, you need the three Bay Links because it searches out the Sanctuary, but it's also protection. Three Sunlight Wolf is basically like your main extender, and Helio just hits back row. 
not hard once per turn. That's why we really like it. And this also adds back your spells, so that's why we play three of them. These, this is all kind of mandatory stuff right here. You have to play these eight. For the extras, though, uh, Lingering Mo is pretty good right now because of all the traps that are going on, especially with like Eldritch and Permanence coming back. That's why Lingering Mo is pretty good. That's why I, I like it. Uh, Splash Mage is a really good extender for this deck, so that's why we still play it, because it brings back any of your Cyburses. Uh, the update jammer plus the trans code talker. This is how you go into your OTK. This is basically how you win the games. More likely than not, you're going to survive turn one. And then on turn two, basically what you want to do is get to the update jammer and to trans code talker as fast as possible so that you can go into your win con. Which our win con for this is Zero Boris and Avermax. Uh, both of these are really good. Um, if you don't have access code talker, these are really good replacements for it, especially zero boards because it clears boards, it comes back, it's still really big, especially off of desires. This gets really big, and two attacks off of the update jammer is insane. So these still do really well. Obviously, access code is better, but these are still really good too. And also, this can't be like affected by a lot of things, and it's also just really big. So that's why we, we also like this as well. And for the last one, we do play Abyss Dweller. This deck does make rank 4s every now and then. It's not as often, but whenever we do are able to make a rank 4, we'd rather make Dweller specifically for the Dragon Link uh, matchup. And that is this deck. It's what about Mirage Salio? Uh, Mirage Salio is banned. <laughs> this deck would be a lot better if it came back. I still really like Salad. I've been playing Salad since it came out. I played it all through 2019 and even some of 2020. So that's why I still like having the deck and I still like test it out every now and then. It's still a good just track of all trades kind of deck. It kind of just does whatever you need to do. It doesn't necessarily have a terrible matchup against anything. You just gotta have the right pilot to really just know how to do it. It is a bit weak, but it's still a fun deck and it's still a really good, like decent rogue pick for kind of just like the upcoming format. So I'd really, I'd still recommend it if you're looking for a good deck that isn't like one of the meta decks to play. So thank you.